So here we are given two curves C1 and C2. They intersect each other at A and B. These are the two points. And the coordinate of A is given 1 comma 4. This point is 1 comma 4. We are asked coordinate of B. See these coordinates of A and B can be found by solving these curve C1 and C2. We are given the y value of both the curves, so we can equate them. Means we are going to write x cubed minus 6x plus 9 is equal to minus 2x square plus 7x minus 1. Now taking all x values one side, x cubed this becomes minus plus 2x square. 7x will be taken to left and then this become minus uh, 13x and uh, plus 10 is equal to zero. This is a cubic equation. We should get three values of x. One value is already given, see one comma four is the answer. So that means x minus one is a factor of this since since 1 comma 4 1 comma 4 um, is the coordinate of a so a 1 comma 4 therefore x is equal to 1. This will also imply x minus 1 is a factor. Okay, if it is a factor, you should completely divide this uh, expression. Means, if I divide uh, the whole thing, this thing by x minus 1, which is x cubed plus 2x squared minus 13x plus 10, and see this is cubed, so it should be multiplied x square time. By x square, we multiply this. It comes x cubed. x square minus 1 is x square. We change the signs. Here it becomes plus. So this thing is 3x square now. And minus 13x comes down. Plus 10 is also taken down. This is x, okay? If this is looks a little confusing, let me write it clearly that this thingy is x over here. Okay, so what we are getting further afterward, this x and 3x, so it should be multiplied 3x time. Okay, 3x into x will become 3x squared and 3x into 1 will become minus 3x. Right? Now change the sign, this become plus, they get cancelled. See here they got cancelled. Now plus 3 and minus 10 should be minus 10x and plus 10. And now see x and 10x, so 10 times. 10 minus 10 into x becomes minus 10x. That's how we divide, right? Minus 10 into minus 1 should be plus 10. Now when we subtract, we change the sign, this become positive, this become negative, and they get cancelled, we get zero. That means other two factors should come from here. Now we are going to do the same. We will factorize x squared plus 3x minus 10. Now x squared plus 3x minus 10 is equal to zero. This will give me two more solutions. Now multiplying minus 10, adding plus 3, splitting middle term should be plus 5x minus 2x minus 10 and equal to 0, x common, x plus 5 minus 2 common, x plus 5 should be 0. So this is giving you x minus 2 time x plus 5 equal to 0. So this will give x equal to 2 and x is equal to minus 5.
So actually these all three answer x equal to one, two, minus five are the answers of that expression. But one more thing here, these two equations, you know, there are, these curve will intersect at those points. At point x equal to one, x equal to two, and x, but they said x equal to greater than zero here. So we'll consider those values which are greater than zero and those values comes out to be x is equal to two. One is already taken. Therefore, x equal to two, you can write here since x has to be greater than or equal to zero. Okay. Now the coordinate of b is, x coordinate of b is two. So you can put x equal to two in any of the curves c1 and c2 you will get y, say put x equal to two in say c1. Uh, what is the curve c1? Uh, curve c1 was x cube minus six x plus nine. Uh, y is equal to, sorry, the curve c1, y is equal to x cube minus six x x cube minus 6x plus 9. So this would be 2 cube minus 6 into 2 plus 9. So it should be 8 minus 12 plus 9. Should be 5. So y equal to 5. Therefore, coordinate of b that's what they ask. Coordinate of B would be two comma five. All right. They ask coordinate of B. What else they ask? They ask area. Area of the shaded region. So coordinate of B is two comma four and the area of the shaded region, if we have to find the area of the shaded region, I would like to show you the diagram once again. Here we go. Okay. So this point over here, down here is one. This point over here is two. So we are going from one to two, the upper curve, which is C2 minus the lower curve. So the required area of shaded region area shaded or area region R, what they ask? Area of R. So let's say area of R will be integration. So we're going from one to two, one to two. The Upper curve, upper curve is this one from A to B. The, this is the upper one, right? Which is later coming down. But in this region one to two, this curve C2 is above C1. C1 is down, C2 is up. So we'll do C2 minus C1. C2 minus C1 dx. So in integration one to two, what is C2 minus C1? C2 is minus 2x squared plus 7x minus 1 minus x cubed minus 6x plus 9 dx. Okay, let's see how much it is. That would be integration 1 to 2 um, minus 2x squared. Let us first bring the like terms together. So minus six, this is plus six, so plus 13 X minus 10 and minus X cube. Now we can integrate. It was all like this only, right? We can easily integrate and put the limits. So this value here would be minus two by three X to power three plus 13 by two X square 
minus 10x, this is x square. This is minus x4 by 4. And we are taking limit from 1 to 2. So how much is this? First put x is equal to 2 in this expression. We get minus 2 by 3, 2 to the power 3, plus 13 by 2, 2 is squared, minus, this is in multiplication, okay? Minus 10 into 2, minus 2 to the power 4 by 4. And minus, then you put the value of x as 1. So 1 to power anything is 1 only. So it's minus 2 by 3 plus 13 by 2 and minus 10 minus 1 by 4. This is 10, okay? Like this. So how much is this? Can be calculated now. So it would come right. 8, 8 into 2 is 16 by 3. So it's minus 16 by 3 plus this is 4 and by 2. So total will be 26. Right, 13 into 4 by 2. So minus 20. 2 to the power of 4 would be 16. 16 by 4 would be 4. So minus 20 minus 4. Here it is. And this whole minus a number over here. 3 by 2, 13 by 2, minus 10, minus 1 by 4. So LCM of these numbers would be 12. Now 4 to the 8 and 13, 12, C, 12, 78, and this is minus 120, minus 4, this is minus 3. So this will be some number which can be calculated. I think it can be easily calculated and you will get area here. Area between these two curves would be this number, solving these digits.